Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics 5th edition by S. Dimashenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar Pati. In this tutorial, we will try to solve the problem, problem set 2.1, problem number 2.3. What force Q combined with a vertical pull P is equal to 27 newtons will give a horizontal resultant force R is equal to 36 newtons. That means there is a canal and boat is moving in this canal. This boat is pulled by two horses. Given that one horse is pulling with a force of 27 newtons and acting uh, pulling in vertical direction. We also know that the boat is moving in horizontal direction. That means the resultant force is 36 newtons and it is horizontal. Now our aim is with what force the other horse is pulling this boat and what is the angle between R and Q that we need to identify. Since we know that this force is pulling vertical direction and the boat is moving horizontal direction, the angle between these two is 90 degrees. Let that angle beta is, let that angle is beta. Hence beta is equal to 90 degrees. Let the angle between R and Q is gamma. Now here the aim is to find the value of Q and gamma. The formula or concept required to solve the problem is parallelogram law. According to the parallelogram law, if P and Q are the two forces acting on a body and the angle between the two forces P and Q is alpha, then the resultant force will be identified like this. Construct a parallelogram by considering this P and Q are the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram. Parallog How it can be done? By drawing a line parallel to P from Q and by drawing an another line parallel to Q from P, then it forms a parallelogram. In this parallelogram, the major diagonal R will becomes the resultant force. And that resultant force is given by the equation R is equal to square root under P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. Let the angle between one of the force P and the resultant force R is beta. And this beta is given by the equation sin beta is equal to Q by R into sin alpha. Similarly, let the angle between the resultant force and the force Q is gamma. And this gamma is given by sin gamma is equal to P by R into sin alpha. With these uh, problems and with this concept, let us go back to our problem. Now, in this problem, the given data is P is equal to 27 newtons, R is equal to 36 newtons and beta is equal to 90 degrees. Now, the equation, we know that resultant force R is equal to square root under P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. R value is given, P value is given. So, I can substitute those values into this equation. Then, it becomes 36 is equal to square root under 27 square plus Q square 
प्लस टू इंटू ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू क्यू इंटू का साफा द नेक्स्ट सिंप्लीफिकेशन स्क्वेरिंग ऑन बोथ साइड्स आई विल गेट ट्वेल्व नाइन्टी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लस क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फिफ्टी फोर क्यू का साफा और दिस इक्वेशन कैन बी री रिटर्न एस क्यू स्क्वायर प्लस फिफ्टी फोर क्यू का साफा इज इक्वल टू 567, 1296 minus 729, which gives 567. This is equation number one. We also know the angle between P and R is 90. Let us use that value now. Now, according to the equation, the angle between R and P is beta, and it is given by sine beta is equal to Q by R into sine alpha. Let us substitute the known values. Then it becomes sine ninety is equal to q value is unknown, so it becomes q only. R value is given that is known thirty six into alpha. Once again, it is unknown, so it is sine alpha. So sine ninety is equal to q by thirty six into sine alpha. This equation can be rewritten as you know sine ninety is equal to one. So, so we can write so q sine alpha is equal to thirty six. Or Sine alpha is equal to 36 by q. This is another equation, second equation. By solving these two equations, one and two, so these two equations, two equations, and we have two unknowns. What are the unknowns? Q and alpha. And we have two equations and two unknowns, and we can solve for Q and alpha. Let us see how we can solve this problem. So sine alpha is equal to 36 by q. This is from equation number two. The sine alpha you can convert it into, into cos alpha, like as we know the equation cos alpha is equal to square root under one minus sine square alpha. Okay, so cos alpha is equal to square root of one minus thirty six by q whole square because sine alpha is equal to thirty six by q. Next simplification cos alpha is equal to square by taking LCM it becomes root under Q square minus twelve ninety six by Q. Or Q cos alpha is equal to square root of Q square minus twelve ninety six. Let us go back to our equation one. What that equation one says? The equation one is Q square plus fifty four Q into cos alpha is equal to five sixty seven. Now, let us. Take that equation q square plus 54q into cos alpha is equal to 567. We know that q cos alpha is equal to square root under q square minus 1296. You you can substitute this uh, equation straight away here. So it becomes q square plus 54 into square root under q square minus 1296 is equal to 567. Then fifty four into q square minus twelve ninety six is equal to five sixty seven minus q square. Send this q square towards right side. Then it becomes five sixty seven minus q square. Then squaring both sides so that I can avoid this root by squaring on both sides. You will get fifty four square means two nine one six into q square minus twelve ninety six is equal to. 567 minus q square whole square. This is a minus b whole square formula. So it becomes a square means 321489 plus q to the power of 4 minus 1134 q square. So this equation you can further simplify, and then you will get q to the power of 4 minus 4050 q square plus Four one double zero six two five is equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation in terms of q square. This is a quadratic equation in terms of q square. So you can solve this equation straight away by using the equation. Okay. So q square is equal to. So for any q quadratic equation, you know the solution is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of B square minus four AC by two A. According to that equation, so B becomes here 
minus 4050 and A becomes 1 and C becomes 4100625. By substituting in this, into this equation, so you will get Q square is equal to 4050 plus or minus square root of 4050 square minus 1640 whole divided by 2. So this you can solve then you will get Q square is equal to 2025. Upon solving this equation, you will get Q square is equal to 2025. So this total term becomes 0. Now, since Q square is equal to 2025, Q value becomes square root of 2025, which gives 45 Newtons. Hence, the required force Q value is equal to 45 newtons. Similarly, we also require to find the value of gamma. To find the value of gamma, let us go back to our equation 1. What is that equation 1? Q square plus 54Q into cos alpha is equal to 567. I can substitute Q now into this equation. Then it becomes 45 square plus 54 into 45 into cos alpha is equal to 567. The only unknown is alpha now. So cos alpha is equal to minus 0 0.6. You can simplify this and you will get cos alpha is equal to minus 0 0.6. Accordingly, alpha value is equal to 126.87 degrees. Once you know the value of alpha, you can calculate gamma by using either formula or you can also calculate by using a simple equation alpha is equal to beta plus gamma. Beta value is known as 90 degrees and alpha value is 126.87. So you can calculate this one as 126.87 is equal to 90 plus gamma or gamma is equal to 36.87 degrees, approximately 37 degrees. Or you can also use the equation sin gamma is equal to P by R into sin alpha. So P value is given 27, R value is also given 36 and alpha value just now we calculated as 126.87. Upon substituting those values, I will get sin gamma is equal to 0.6 or gamma is equal to 36.87 degrees. Hence, all the uh, answers, final answers you can say, the Q value is equal to 45 Newtons and gamma value is equal to 36.87 degrees. My dear friends and students, if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design, namely strength of materials, theory of machines, machine design, engineering mechanics, finite element method, mechanical vibrations, please give the reference in the comment section so that I will solve the problem, prepare a video and upload in my channel. Please subscribe and share my video.